every time it's an issue, all of a sudden, something that's, from year nine has come up. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. No, no, no. Sorry, I'm going to have this. Yeah, so because, no, no, no. I'm going to have, have this. I'm going to have this. Because if you're a rational person, and, I, and I'm one person, one thing, I am rational, and I listen, and I pay attention. I pay attention. It's true. And I do care about how people feel. You can tell, and as a guy, if you know your partner, you can tell when somebody is doing something because to finesse the way out of the situation. When you talk about generalization, I find generalization so interesting. They, they really show my human nature because if you get a positive generalization, it's lit. So if you're on social media and somebody say, oh yeah, Nigerian guys are the wave. All, Niger all Nigerian guys be like, yeah, you done now, need to comment. <laughs> but if you're like, oh yeah, black men are trash, man, like, whoa, yeah, whoa, yeah, whoa, yeah, whoa, yeah, whoa, yeah, whoa. Yeah, like What's this one. generalization stuff? You see what I'm saying? We so don't like that one, it's yeah. just interesting that how generalizations, even just something simple as generalization, they show how much we are swayed by personal interest. 100%. That we're willing to break down and I think our logic and contradict ourselves so quickly. People could literally contradict themselves with terms of generalizations within three tweets. See them yeah. all the time. But I think I think that's that's very interesting with the gender dynamic between males and females, especially mm. within the black British community. Mm. Because for example, in within black British popular culture, black men have always been more desirable, socially desirable, in terms of dating. In, the, in the way that we've been, are you comparing to other men, or are you comparing to, black to men other to men, women? to other men, but also to, to white women? I'm speaking more on the urban kind of yeah, 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 culture scene. Yeah. Um, and for years, do you know what I mean? We've accepted that. Do you know what I mean? I know many men who, do you know what I mean? Had no problem with being <laughs> the most, most desirable. So quickly, um, do you know what I love, yeah. The demographic. You, the fact that you did this, yeah, <laughs> and every guy here knows that's almost a word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, a good message. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. A lot, a lot of men, yeah, a lot of men have embraced that desirability. Yeah. Um, but in terms of how black women have been shown and perceived, for whatever reason, for a long time, it's been. Negative, 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 negative. Angry black girl narrative. Angry black girl narrative. What's the other ones that we have? There's loads. Just just in terms of almost starting a couple steps behind every other demographic Person. in terms of desirability, magazines, all these different. Mm. We can go we can go on. But it's interesting how, you know what I mean, there's aspects of that that we will enjoy and claim and reap the benefits we'll take from. The, we'll take the positive on the system that... And not necessarily negatives. understand the other side mm. as much. Do you think it's still happening today? 100%. I think I think there's definitely a kickback in a lot of. Um, How would you say it manifests? In loads of different ways. I, my first school was outside of London. Mm. I went to school in Reading. Um, I was one of the only black people in the whole school. I understand. Yeah, it was it was a lot. It was a lot. And in terms of how I was treated as a black male compared to my black female counterparts in that environment was wild. I know there's a lot of lighter stuff back in the day. Would you say that's your that. fault? No, no, so well, I was born into a system. I, I have no, 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 no control of it. But what I do have control over is how I react to that environment, and Whether I feel like encouraging or discouraging. This encouraging and also understanding. I feel like as a black male, I've had to understand um, through countless conversations with my sister um, the privileges I do have and where they come from, because it's like there is a desirability. Privileges as in things well, ascribed depends. to you. Yeah. So let's say the desirability that a black man has. Um, but it's not anything you've done, it's been ascribed to you. Yes, it's okay. been something that I've been pushed into or been pushed onto me, but certain things I've accepted. But I think it's good for us to be Why aware. Have you accepted them because they don't push you back? Or yeah, because they're they not may detrimental not be, to you. Or, or they may not be visibly detrimental to me. Okay, and they're not that, detrimental to you as far as you can as tell. As far as I can tell. Immediately. Immediately. And then. <laughs> yeah, be specific. Yeah. No, no, it's be true. Specific. It's true. And then, and then you begin to establish, okay. Why, why are black men so desirable? Where does this come from? You look, start to look at the history and you understand a lot of the, the, the undercurrents are actually very negative or based off negative stereotypes. Hypermasculinity, the black man being the dominant King Kong gorilla. Every, every girl's getting excited, whatever. Um, but yeah, I find it really interesting what, going off what you're saying about generalizations. So what do you think can be done to help those issues? Because you were very clear about they're there and mm. you're saying they're still here. So I think, do you know, I think Twitter is a good platform chamber. yes where conversations are held and i've had some great and progressive conversations, conversations dialogues talked uh, at depend it depends you know, yeah it depends on the i don't i don't engage in people do you think it's who, information that leads to a behavior change can be yeah 100 percent. 100 percent. i've been influenced well, by well. depending on who's on it's, it's just like a normal dialogue depends on dialogues right yeah depends, no, on man who's, depends who it is <laughs> <a> normal dialogue <laughs> 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 Depend on who's on the receiving end and the no, 100%. Who's giving. 
Yeah, hundred percent. Um, yeah, I think um, obviously some people have are influential, and some people are more susceptible to be influenced. So 100%. some things like what I've seen now because. I've had Twitter for about a decade, so I had it when I was in my second year of university. Mm, mm. And like the nature of conversations in this kind of, in, in the kind of, I'll say the network I'm in, because I'm not, when then people delude enough to think that their Twitter experience is the wild Twitter experience, there's 600 million users. 100%. You're, you're, like I see people on the train every day looking at Twitter, they have a different experience to mm, all mm. of us. So it's not, so in this like particular kind of network, shall I say, mm. things have changed. So I, it started when, we started to see evidence of what was happening in America. So mm. Tamir Rice, um, Eric Garner, all these type of like young black men and women in America suffering at the hands of the law enforcement. Mm. And that sparked like outrage and a rise in social consciousness. And slowly but surely being socially conscious is kind of like a like a gives you that social currency where yeah, yeah. where like Bad now if, if you're very socially conscious and you have very quote unquote social conscious views you're now popular. Mm. Before, like we've always seen, okay, very good looking, popular. A lot of money, popular. Very funny, popular, very fashionable. Follow. Now being socially conscious is one of those. Mm. So now you get people who are, who are influential are now be able to sway some people who might not really been that way inclined. Mm. So I think that's where you see the changes in, in behavior. Do you think sometimes the, um, almost the threat of, of you being um, ostracized? Size. Yeah. Do you think Probably that jinx. play? <laughs> That's okay, that's okay, that's okay, do you think that plays a part in some massively, people going along massively, with like, narratives? Massively, I think when, when things become socially unacceptable, that's when you can start to see changes in behaviour. Yeah. I, I, like, I, I can say for the whole black, uh, black men are trash thing, I've seen man jump on that, that dialogue, like actually yeah, men are trash and we need to, and I'm thinking, you're saying that because you feel the pressure too, you might not actually... I don't even know if you've really deconstructed Yeah, yeah what people that means. nowadays, it's, it's, I find I, I, it makes me sick. So you, you, you follow me on you follow me on social media. You yeah, see, yeah. I say stuff called under duress FC. Yeah? yeah. So I feel like it's got to a point where now because of this um, because of this yeah, current climate yeah. we're in, yeah, well, people country, pe- people yeah. are under duress to feel like they have to adhere and say certain things. They've got to keep their credit. So now, do you know like usually when something happened? Okay, like Kevin Hart, yeah. He got caught lacking. He had to go release a press statement mm. about what happened between him and. Peak in the streets. Yeah, yeah. So, what? Did he do cheat? Cheat, yeah. Oh, so okay. now we're in a press statement culture. Yeah. So right now, yeah. So now regular, regular people with twelve <laughs> followers are releasing press statements or something <laughs> they n- had nothing to do with. <laughs> Absolutely nothing to do with because they feel like if they don't come out and say this, people will demonize. But they can them. be ruined. They can lose their jobs. They can. No, no, no. But but that's if you've done something. I'm talking about people who had no. Had nothing oh, to do yeah, with the internet. Will come out People and are like, yeah, I post it. I'm yeah. like, brother, relax. Rubbish. Like, so now I've got to a point where men are now basically saying things under duress, and you can see because like the way the words are constructed, it doesn't make sense. Like, mm. you're us tweeting under duress. Mm. Like, you're actually under du- like. Now we've got we've got like a whole sort of World Cup squad. There's like 23 man plus subs are just under duress, and that's what I find quite interesting. That's why mm. I'm saying that it definitely does change behavior because now people are feeling inclined that they have to behave and perform. In fact, we see a lot of perform- performative behaviour. Mm. A lot of performative behaviour. Like, I, for example, I think this MP, David Lammy, I think he's a performer. A proper performer. <laughs> Sent straight for him. Yeah, no, it was true, though. Know, I, he, he's, my, a, he's a performer. My, my opinion of him is, um, regardless of the views of his that I agree with or disagree with, mm. he does... That's politics, act. though, man. He, he, is it not politics? Yeah, it is politics, yeah. But what I don't like is that we're, what we a lot of what we're discussing, like we're talking about the in, inequities in society mm. and how it manifests and it dis, it causes disadvantages with certain individuals. Yeah, mm. these are very real things. Where in some situations, it's stopping people having opportunity. In some situations, so, yeah. it's putting them more likely to be derailed and come out of society. Mm. And you're here, essentially monetizing it because that's what you're doing. Mm. You're using it to get clout to kind of maybe clout the political ladder, which is a monetary thing as well. A, a lot of men are out here twerking, t- like just twerking, twerking, twerking for plaudits and accolades. And it's, and to me, it's quite sickening because what you're twerking and um, performing with is things that are very, very real. And we see it also um, on the flip side for also like maybe influencers or just actual mega stars who mm. are black women. For example, when like, I can't remember what happened, Nicki Minaj was quick to throw out, um, I'm a black woman card. And that was, I can't, I think it's something to do with a designer, but mm. there's been plenty of instances where People you could have used your voice, you could have used your voice. And don't get there's plenty of artists, celebrities, and young women who do this, but I've seen people now use the inequities face of black women 
as a way to sell something mm-hmm. or to oh. climb the ladder. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but so, do you, do you, so okay. how do you feel about that? Because I think it's slimy. Is it similar, from, is it from, similar from to, to Is it similar to? Sorry to cut you off. So, yeah. slightly, then so you you're can, saying it's immoral. But is it is it similar to growing up and and we used to have the term the black cop? Yeah. Like remember Lenny Henry used to make them jokes like, oh, it's because I'm black. And like we used that, that makes like a it word socially acceptable too. But this is what I'm saying. As a demographic, who are you know, we can all admit the black demographic is very socially disadvantaged, uh, politically disadvantaged, economically disadvantaged. How are we socially disadvantaged? Socially disadvantaged in the sense that the places that a lot of black communities have established in London, for example, um, from immigration, we're all crowded in certain areas with worse social housing, with worse True. schools, with etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So that that builds a community where. Were under duress. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And Literally, for me, what, what makes those communities worse? Financially, there's there's loads of there's loads of different we're factors. New, we can we're new to the environment. We're yeah, new yeah, to yeah. the environment. Okay. Um, yeah, and also, we, and quite simply, we just don't have we just don't, don't own. have the resources. We don't own. If you don't own land, there you go. Then it's very hard to accumulate wealth. And with, you can't and move up. Yeah, you can't have schools. You have very few we don't politicians. Very few lecturers, etc. Um, so I think there is a there is an aspect of positivity in the fact that we're all having more socially political dialogues on places like Twitter. Well, we call them dialogues though, because a lot of it is point scoring, it's table dialogues tennis. Are res- it, a lot of it, a lot yeah. of it, a lot of it is, but that's still a dialogue. We could be in the common room talking about anything like our game, and we know there's a table of girls behind us, and we're having a performative conversation, but mm. it's still a dialogue. Okay, 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 is, I mean? it, okay. Dialogue in the actual sense so of what's going on. Discussions are being had. Yeah. I'm saying it's positive that. Although not all the dialogues are present, uh, um, pre- no, what's the word? Progressive. 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 Are constructive. Progressive. They they do have some positive. So for example, I've seen. No, no, I agree with you. I've seen back chat episodes which I feel like haven't been progressive. I love what they do, but I've seen unprogressive. Others that have been. But they've created progressive conversations yeah. outside okay. of the TL. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. What yeah, I'm yeah. saying is that anything Black can women. trigger anything. Basically. Yeah, but I'm saying it's, it's no, positive. no. But even even me, like, um, obviously, I believe that. No, no matter how intelligent you are, there's certain things as a man you'll never be able to interfere from a woman's perspective and vice versa. Mm-hmm. So even me having social media, I've been able to understand more of what black women go through 100%. because of their experiences. So 100%. you get that positive. However, <laughs> however, <laughs> if you audit how people were as a community as That's one so from let's say ten years ago to now, yeah. well, I personally believe, and I've polled this on many occasions. I know it's not it's not the great statistics. Don't come and pan me. Mm. Like <laughs> I'm talking about uh, this own this like mini network on it's social like media. A pilot study. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah and, very and, small study. Yeah, from this network of social media, people are way more feel way more divided, and have a lot more um, kind of negative views towards other groups within us. So whether yeah. it be Africans, I think Africans can be it's probably got better, but men and women, yeah, it's probably got a lot more divisive due to the due to conversation, both, and, and both that's. Me- those- both of those things are, are, are results of social acceptability because the more we grew up and the more we sort of educated ourselves mm. was, okay, like I always joke around about, um, you know Conan, Captain yeah. Conan? I always joke around about, I wonder what the statistic change was when he, uh, I think it was Don't Waste My Time and Conan had that bar, um, fuck boys probably still jacking phones. Yeah. And it was one of them things where we all laugh like, right, yeah, you must be bummy yeah. if you rob a phone. And as much as it's a laughable thing, it's, it's one of them things where if your friend, like if any of you that were to come to tell me you robbed phones in 2018, I'd be like, right, you're, you're bummy. Yeah. And what became socially not, what became not socially, socially unacceptable, unacceptable yeah. socially unacceptable was being broke. Yeah. Be, like mm-hmm. that, that became socially unacceptable, mm-hmm. which meant when people were talking about robbing phones and it, 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 it became bummy, whereas when we was like 13, 12, 11, you were if you yeah, you literally, yeah, I robbed phones, I robbed that boy. Even tight, now, you can't people. even say that mm. out loud. Mm. So, similar to um, with regards to being African or being Caribbean. Mm. So, social attitudes change? Yeah, 100%. 100%. 100%. Um, and then, what was it? Uh, um, men and women, you got to understand, like, the narrative. I, I don't know if we're in a more negative place. I think there are more negative, a lot more ignorant statements coming so out. So, let's quickly stop you. If he leans back too much, does he come out shot? No, he's not. Okay. Cool. Nice, I'm nice. Yeah, there's still more. Um, there's still a lot of ignorant. Yeah, a lot of ignorant statements. A lot of misconceptions that are being spread. A hundred percent. That's why I, what, what I say it's worse now. Simply because of the increase in users of social media. So I mentioned um, before, Twitter has six hundred million, uh, million users. Instagram has way more. So does Facebook. Yeah. So if there's an increased amounts of users sprouting nonsense, which is, <laughs> is which is most of the time nonsense. Yeah. 
and that's happening more and more and there's more and more people viewing it mm. that's why narratives are quicker developed now mm-hmm. very much quicker developed you know what I'm saying more people subscribing to it more people subscribing to it yeah. exactly so mm-hmm. and I think that is that is dangerous mm-hmm. to me personally and that's and that's one thing I really really do detest about this current time sorry and I'll, I'll edit it out but uh, I quickly checked it because the first time you spoke on like, Twitter you said 300 million and then you no it said 600 say, no but it's 328 Tw- Twitter, Twitter users is not 328 <laughs> but to be fair, are you talking monthly users or altogether? Altogether. Okay, that's different. Alright, oh, yeah. Is, this is monthly users. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. No, I. I <laughs> <laughs> no, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's. Yeah, so there's more, there's more information being spread. I think some of these dialogues do cause. So, for example, I'd see a word. I know people might. Many people have seen col- col- colonialism or imperialism yeah. being thrown about these kind of terms. And they've adopted them without researching what they actually are. Do you know, let me stop you there, yeah. Quick rant, yeah. Why don't people Google words? So, for example, it's yeah. It's mad quick. Merriam Webster, Oxford, um, concise, done. Free. <laughs> for example, yeah. So, so I've seen so a lot of people lot. tweet for the deaf, like, I've seen people tweet, what does this mean? And I'm like, <laughs> The same internet. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do what, I never mind that it's laziness, but at least they're still trying to gain information. So, I can let that slide, yeah. yeah. I'm talking about things like, so I'm sure you've seen discussions that usually happen socially. Or when you pe- when you're discussing like different ideologies, people say, "Oh, that's a um, what's the word? Uh, false equivalence." Mm. Yeah. People don't know what the word false equivalence mean. False equivalence don't mean false like equivocation. false equivocation. equivocation. It's basically okay. like so. What they think it is is like for example, if I say, if I give you two, if I give it two analogies, yeah, and the variables, they're, they're two similar variables. So I'm like, oh, one analogy I use apples, another analogy I use oranges. People say that's false equivalence because because apples are different to oranges. No, I'm comparing. My analogy is to compare a thought process. Yeah. Mm. So if you believe this, if okay, these are the same variables. You follow this same step. So why is it different? But people just say false equivalence because they believe false equivalence means you can't. They have to be the same variable. No. Mm. There's certain words yeah, they share this. Just they share a similar principle. Yeah. So and so it's like what we've done now. Not like I'm not say we, but quite some. What a lot of people do is they have their own feelings. What words mean. Mm. And they speak on it, mm. and then sometimes so even even the word racism, people are saying no, racism shouldn't mean this because it's okay. Cool. So if we're gonna question the definition of racism, you said about ten words before you get to the word racism. Mm. So we're gonna question what that means. We're gonna question what institution means. Mm. So so why are we picking and choosing what words we're questioning? Mm. They have clear definitions. Mm. Yeah. Why are we doing this? Uh, so so what the words before you, were consistent, but now then, then now this. What, 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 what I've noticed a lot is we um we almost try and explain things for idiots. So by that, what I mean is someone will come out and say something. Okay, sorry, I shouldn't say idiots. No, I shouldn't actually. Yeah, no, say it with your chest. No, I'm with you. Um, Some people are stupid. Yeah. um, You want to provoke as least emotion as possible so that you can convey meaning. It's true. No. So the idiots, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) But what I'm saying is a lot of times people come out with idiotic statements. Yeah. And rather than people to take their idiotic statements at face value, mm. like this is what Donnie said. Mm. People trying to try to do politics. Find some round the circle definition. Hello, Mike Cross. Yeah, and what he was trying to do was like a like, perfect example, Kanye. Yeah, mm. the amount of time this guy has said some wild things. Mm. No, that's not what he meant. What he was trying to. To be fair, to though. To be fair, though. No, no, no. no but I'm, you know what they do? They'll, you have a sixty-minute interview. They'll put one quote out of context of what he was saying. But then even for example that one, they, you had 20 minutes before and after what he said. Exactly. So, watch the, my thing is that a lot of the statements, a lot of the things where people are saying actually... Not fair if it's actually taken out of context. But yeah, but a lot of times it's not. When, like, especially when people are writing for their loyal... For their loyal, loyal um, artists. For, for, for their loyal um, artists or... I can't lie, I'm, I'm guilty of that. Like just, just, just I've been guilty of that. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. You are. Just take, just take. No, take I've had to, I've had to leave Kanye out in the cold though. He's, he's gone too far. For me. But the thing is, yeah, I, I, I don't understand why there's a problem with admitting you're wrong, innit? So, mm. I'm, I'm quite an opinionated person. Oh, so, very much. yeah, and I, and, 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 I, and I'll happy say my opinion. But if you show me logic to say that I'm wrong, I'm like, rah, okay, cool, I'm wrong. I don't die. My bank account does not get minus. I don't go to jail. Mm. So like, you're transparent. So, but what I don't understand is like now because of what remember I said is you get a gain of social currency for being more socially aware. Mm. So when you're being challenged on your beliefs, mm. and you, I, I know these people bring their phones, they know they're wrong. Mm. They will basically they'll move the goalposts here, move the goalposts here. And you're still hitting it top corner as I said before. Even though they're moving the goalposts, you're still like crushing their argument, mm. and they just won't back down, which I don't understand. So that means that means to me that infers to me that 
you have put less of importance on the cause but yeah. and, and, uh, and achieving your cause than being right and seeing we are, right. I think we're living in an era of post-truth where the facts aren't as important as the outcome of the conversation. The way you feel dictates how you behave, essentially. Yeah. I heard someone once say, um, the truth doesn't matter if a lie is more entertaining. Yeah, yeah it's very true. That's the principle the media use. So, just got to sound... And, and even when you said about, um, what was your point before? But which, which one? No, before what Neo said again. About the feelings, yeah. being the general principle for how you should behave? No, 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 no. Um, I can't remember what you said. But what I was going to say is that in society now, one thing I think that is very important for us to let people know is that just because something makes you feel uncomfortable does not also mean it's wrong. Yeah. Because pe- people have now associated... We love up, selector. I've associated, this makes you feel uncomfortable, therefore it's wrong. Right. Sometimes it makes you feel uncomfortable. Mm. That's it, that's fine. It's fine to feel uncomfortable. Certain Sometimes things make, it hurts. Yeah, some, some, some things make me feel uncomfortable. And even though I've had to kind of unlearn that, okay, is this wrong? Or does it make me feel uncomfortable? Mm. Mm. We are we are in a very because what you, what you what you have to understand is we usually uh, tend to grasp what's right and wrong by popular opinion. Mm. So if, if not me, if, bro. Yeah, not, but in general, like mm. if a lot of people are, are saying the same thing, for example, actually I'm not going to give an example because there's no way to not insult some, someone else's lifestyle without doing it. Even but, this stuff, why are you so scared to insult people? But this is where we are. And now. Then what I'm saying is what I'm saying. Yeah, is, but when you say things, you what, risk offense. 100. percent But what? Wait, I Anything you say risks offense. <laughs> Like two man spoke, my man went blank. What was he saying? What does that mean for you're talking, man? Saying, <laughs> saying things and not offending people. Um, the way you feel dictating how you behave. So the difference between what is wrong and what's un- uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. That's the yeah, right, answer. Right. Uh, yeah, I got you. I got you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> but um, a lot of times people dictate what's right and wrong by the majority okay. opinion. And, yeah. and when you have, for example, as you say, six hundred million users on Twitter and growing, yeah. you're going to have unlimited amounts of communities that are going through exactly what you're going through mm-hmm. so suddenly it becomes a whole thing where well if you raise your voice above four octaves it means you don't love your partner if you um wh- whatever they want to whatever they want to spew there's a community for it yeah. and it's literally just oh let me find my echo chamber mm-hmm. it's why for example 100%. people can say oh these people are idiots on twitter without actually trying to understand what their what their concept is because they can go to this side i mm-hmm. think in addition to that we're in an era where a lot of the the things which have been foundation, foundational to our conception of who we are, mm. masculinity, patriarchy, femininity, all of these things are being put under question. Mm. By studies that have actually been around for years, like in terms of feminism, in terms of breaking down gender and... and so what do you think is under question? And sex and all these different things. These things have been, like, academically have been going on for yeah. years, but now they've, en- they've entered the popular cultural sp- sphere. Do where you think it's because, because of it, social media? Yeah, do you think it's because... Social conversation, social media, and everything, and yeah. science, even celebrity lifestyles, it's all merged into one. Because once yeah. you have something like a social media, imagine just having a table and there's like 300 million people sitting around it, mm. and suddenly it's like, yo, we should talk about this because I learned this in my science lesson, mm. or we should talk about this because I learned this. When yeah, I and, and what what happens is these those conversations are very serious. Like when I first, but uh, you can't reach reach a conclusion if everything is subjective. It's it's true, but what what. My thing is that a lot of things that we thought were stable have such been as, made unstable. Religion, such as our assumptions on what constitutes a man, what constitutes a woman, what constitutes sexual preference. Socially or biologically? Both. Both of these things. Both of these things. Mm, are, because you can't, you can't question biology. I mean. You can't. It's impossible. Biology is objective. So is maths. It's impossible to question them. My point is...